So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can edit existing content. Uh, let's have a look at activities on La Vista website for example and I can see that swimming pool has only one M and uh, restaurants has S while there is only one restaurant at La Vista and I really want to change this quickly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the backend administration so once you logged in the backend administration that's what you should see so you have your menu here and you have the shortcut buttons um, I'm going to click on article manager to see all my articles and the list is quite long here and I have two pages of those articles so uh, what I want to do is find the corresponding article which is activities and before uh, I, I browse all this list I'm gonna simplify the list and use the section drop list and here I can see that I have like three different sections I have uncategorized La Vista and La Vista Beach and I do believe that activities belongs to uncategorized because it's not only at La Vista neither only at La Vista Beach so it should should be both so I suppose it's logically uncategorized and um, you can do the same with category so you can play with with um, with a section and the and the category to simplify this long list of article so uh, I'm just gonna click on uncategorized and my list is is much more simple I only have 12 items and uh, within these items I can see activities here so I click on that and in, here we go I have my uh, activity activities text so the text he, you can see here is exactly the same text you can see here the appearance is a bit different but, but this is uh, mainly uh, because of the layout um, so what we want to do right now is just add an M to swimming pool so simply put the cursor right where you want it and just add an M and I want to remove the S so I put my cursor e here and hit the back button so <clears throat> uh, to save these changes what I'm going to do is click on save and he, I'm back to the article manager and I, I can see my list of article let's see what what it did on the website and to see the results you have to refresh so I'm just gonna click the reload button and um, it's refreshing the page and now I can see that I have my 2M at swimming pool and no S at restaurant um, another thing which bothers me is uh, I wanna have the diving classes uh, not on Friday but on Sunday instead so let's go back to my uh, administration console and um, I still can see my list of article and I'm just gonna click on activities again and uh, I'm gonna look for diving classes and select it and I'm just gonna remove it and remove the dot here and I'm just gonna make it here on Sunday diving classes and that's it I'm just going to add a dot and uh, this time um, I'm not going to save I'm going to apply and what what apply does is that it also saves in the database except you are still on the article you're currently editing whereas when you press save I can do it now also it also saves but you're back on the article list so basically when you're working a long time on on an article let's say you're on activities and you're doing a lot of changes once in a while you can just apply and by applying you will save the the modification you just did but you will stay here and you can keep on editing so this is the only difference you have between save and apply is just where you end up once you click the button and now let's say you you you're entering a lot of, of uh, mistakes like this and now I don't know why it's bold but if it's bold I can always select it and make it click here on the bold button and now it's not bold anymore and um, I just type type these things but I don't want to save anything here so um, how do I get back to the list of article without saving it's very simple you just need to close and if you close nothing will be saved let me close and here we are back to the list and if I refresh my page nothing nothing has been changed 
and let's open uh, activities again and um, uh, let's do the same add more text here dummy text which we definitely don't want to save but it's just to to show you um, what you can do also uh, is use the undo button the undo button is gonna progressively well let me do it again I'm making several lines purposely and several words like this so you can have what I can do is click several times on undo it will progressively undo what I just did uh, don't abuse this button too much because it has a limited amount of, of uh, undo uh, but let's say you have you, know, you, you did three things you didn't like you can definitely use this to undo it and if you really change your mind again you can redo what you just undid so you click on redo and you can see my text coming back and you can play with that if just in case it's it's sometimes useful um, and that's it so let me close that and I'm back on my article list so you can do exactly the same thing for every single um, single um, article you can see on this article manager